The original Bible is more accurate and advanced than today's science. In case you think you didn't hear it correctly, let me repeat. The original Bible, using the code to God, is more accurate and advanced than today's science. You heard it right. Mr. Juravan, the only human that God ever trusted with his code to God, filed the world's first scientific proof of God patent. So who is more advanced? Today's science? Or the original Bible with the code to God? Let's find out. Conception, you know, the egg and the sperm. The original Bible knows the exact day of conception. Exact. I will show you in a minute. Science. No. Science knows about 14 days. A pregnant woman is going to the doctor. She asks, doctor, how long have I been pregnant? The doctor asks her, when is the first day of your last period? She guesses, she tells him about, and that's when they start counting. If you ask a woman, how long have you been, how long have you been pregnant? The woman says 20 weeks. It's probably about 18 weeks from conception. Not too exact. Original Bible wins. Pregnancy. In God's language of the original Bible, it's called Herayon. Hey, five. Reish, 200. Yud, 10. Vav, 6. Nun, 50. I know it by heart. This is the table. I know all of this table by heart. 271. It means that the designer of life, God, designed the pregnancy to be 271 exactly from conception to delivery. Science, about nine months. Science doesn't know exactly like the designer of life. Let's move on. Sperm. Zera. 277 is the code, code to God, Zera, 277. Science, science will tell you that each ejaculation has 30 million to 300 million sperms, about. But God knows that it's exactly 277 million. Egg, bait seat. Bet, Yud, Tzadik, Yud, Taf. Taf is 400. 512. God designed the woman to have exactly 512 ovulations. Exactly. Science doesn't know. So it guesses that it's 13 ovulations per year times 39 years. About. It turns out to be about this number, but this is the exact number from God. Now I owe you an answer here. My name is Don, Don Juravin. I'm the first human ever to provide the scientific proof of God. I'm the founder of the original Bible Foundation. Two years ago, we filed a patent, the scientific proof of God. Part of the proof was, let's say, the heart, the brain, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, all the organs of the fetus. Using the code and using the original Bible, we know exactly how long it takes for the heart to be functional in the fetus, how long it takes for the eyes to be functional, for the brain, for the hair, for the ribs, for the bones, to be functional. Heart is Lev. Lev is 32. It means on the 32nd day from conception, the heart will have its first beat. And the brain is Moach. Moach is 48. The first electric pulse, 48 days from conception. Original Bible wins.
So what is it actually, this name certificate? We take your name and we first, we send it to Jerusalem. They discover your name in God's holy letters. This guy, his name is Sami Hafagi. His name in God's holy language of Hebrew is Shmuel. Shmuel. It's from right to left. 300, 40, 6, 1, 30. Each letter has a number between 1 and 400. God's language of Hebrew has 22 letters. Each letter is encoded by God from numbers between 1 and 400. So, the first name, Shmuel, the total is 377. Last name is 102. Together, it's 479. We are looking now in the original Bible and we find out that it's Genesis 19.21. This is the way that Sami Hafagi, Shmuel Hafagi, is wired to be. He's supposed to understand what it means. We don't know. He's supposed to understand. It's like between God and Shmuel Hafagi. But Shmuel Hafagi has also life path. And that's something very interesting that we find in Pi. It's a very complex method that we use in Code to God. Life path is 2119, and it's Exodus 22.7. That's his life path, and he will understand what it means in English and in Hebrew. This is the divine number. His divine number is two. Now, Shmuel, Sami Hafagi, will now understand his life better. He will understand his direction in life. He will be connected to God better. And he needs to look for these numbers in his life. So if Shmuel Hafagi, Sami, is looking to decide something in life, let's say buying a house, a job, and he sees suddenly something with the number two, it means that God is giving him direction. Because you need to start somewhere when you want to communicate with God. That's the way that I do that. I have my numbers. And when I see them, I know that this is what it is. Let's take another one, for example. Let's take this one. The name is Sean Myers. Sean is Jerusalem discovered for us that it's actually Yohanan. It's a Irish name, and it went through a few generations of um, mistranslations or meanings and so on, and it actually came from Yohanan. It's one of the apostles of Jesus, and it's this is the Hebrew name. And again, there are five letters. You see the number for each letter. The total is 124, Myers, 321, Wired, 445. This is who Sean Myers is, or in his biblical name, Yohanan Myers. This is his life path. This is his divine number. And he can learn who he is and what's his life path. And from now on, when Sean Myers will see the number four, he will know that this is probably the right choice. Or if he will see 445 or 1943, and it goes on and on, all of these people will find their connection to God much, much better. Let's look from the other side. Uh, here, we have Jonathan Fabella. And... His real name in the original Bible is Jonathan Fabella, which means a gift from God. More. 
Here, this is an interesting one. I can see that from here. Two of them are very interesting. Yes, I can see that. Erwin. I'm sorry, Edwin. Edwin has been a change. It's originated from the original Bible, Baruch, which means blessed. And somehow, throughout the generations in Europe and then in Great Britain, it became, it became Edwin. But the original name is Baruch, which means blessed. This is very interesting one. His name is Haydn Ace. But his biblical name is actually Or Echad, which means Aiden, it's actually light. Or, or means in the original Bible, light. Did you know that ace means in Spanish one? So it's Echad. But this is only our team in Jerusalem can do. Discover your letters in God's language. And then we in Florida, we take about four or five days to decode your name. How interesting it is. Or it's 207, 13. 13 is a very interesting number. 13 is love. 13 is one. There are many other things with 13. That's a different time. So now, or Echad can better connect to God. This is another one that I like. I just saw it right now. Catherine. Catherine is actually means pure. It's actually Tehora. Tehora. Tehora means pure and it's 225. Very nice. These people will cry when they get it because they will feel the connection to God. And that's the beginning of their divine life. And then let's look at what we have here. <clears throat> this is the best. This is the ultimate. It's an entire poster. It's really big. It's an entire poster with your life path, with who you are. And that's the full interpretation. With the full interpretation of who you are. And that takes us like about two weeks to prepare. It's, it's amazing. People cry when they get it. They finally find who they are. 